What's up everybody, Crimson Raven here, and it is time for another daily challenge, but before that, I want to take the habit of showing you guys the score I got and where I'm at in the Hall of Fame for the day before. So for yesterday's video, I came up 11th. Uh, shout out to Leviathan108 for absolutely destroying my score on that one. He's a pretty good friend of mine. And it was out of 73 people. Yes. So 11th out of 73 was the score for the 27th of October. For the 28th, we have another Jules run because speed is key. All right, let's start this. Okay, uh, holy sh- okay, Wraith Rings, very good start, very, very good weapon, I love it, and a treasure room, okay, with a buttload of experience, we got a third of a level up here. Frog. Frog against Storm Beast? Oh, that. I'm kind of happy. I'm kind of happy that Jules is insanely fast. Um, okay. What is next? Hey, okay, that's a teeny tiny room. Next one. It's kind of weird for a character that is so blazingly fast. To have such a shitty fire rate on his basic weapon. That's my level two. Um, both of them are pretty shitty, to be honest. I don't want to decrease my Wraith Rings damage, so I'm going to go for Bastion, even though even though I'm probably still going to keep moving around. Increase the attack, attack rate while stationary. If I position myself right, I could probably... Freaking eyeballs. I hate the eyeballs. Alright. Come on. And there we go. Okay. So now I don't have the hiccups at least. Keep those. Boss room that is clearly Goonkar. Time to go all the way south. No secret room on this floor so far. Which is a bit surprising. I am not a fan of necromancy though. Especially not when orcs are involved. Please die. Yoink! Jump down. Catch everything else. Mm. 
There we go. Just gonna jump around him and make sure. That is a secret room. There we go. Alchemy Mastery. Sure. Let's just hope I get a decent alchemy weapon soon enough. Carrots. I am definitely not a fan of carrots in such a tightly enclosed space. There we go, key room. Shrine. Okay. Uh, I guess I could pay that. I don't even have a staff. Ooh, lots more. Uh, it's just for the next fight, though. So I can kind of afford it. Reduced spell mana usage is very good. That boosts up my Wraith Rings. In the next fight is the boss fight, which means I'm going to be doing a ton of damage. But I'm going to be burning through my mana at an insane rate. But then again, it's for a boss fight, so I don't really care, because I'm going to kill it faster. Considering I have the Wraith Rings, I won't even have to aim, or almost. So, I don't really care. <laughs> I am as indifferent as the gods for this one. He's dead. He's very, very easily dead. And Poison Aura. Yes. Poison Aura is basically as soon as I get close to something, it gets poisoned. Considering the sheer speed that Jules has, this is a match made in heaven. I can just run around and poison everything until they die and I have a flame mortar sure uh, not a big fan of the flame mortar to be honest I don't really like the curve that the bullets have on this thing I do kind of like the fire for room clear though especially if I go like that and poison them all and then set them on fire Poison him, run. See? Poison Aura. I did take a fair amount of damage on this one, though. The, a fair amount of stupid damage. Especially from axes that I shouldn't have gotten myself into. Okay, that is... Might be a little bit of a tricky room. Let's go see what the others have to offer before I venture... Okay, that's a trap room. 
Because especially with jewels, the possibility of a special room like shrines or treasure rooms is actually quite high. And back to full health. And oh, jump over, poison it, run back. There we go. Then try to bomb it from the far and set it on fire. And jump over it again, run away, and I think it just died from the poison. Yes, that is how, that is how I want to be using the poison aura. And by combining it with Jules' insane running speed. A gift. What do we have? A bunch of health potions. That is too bad. That is such a waste. If I had known, I would have skipped this room and gone elsewhere and then came back to recharge. That is probably Palico, just from the trees. It could be, uh, actually, no, it could be Lady Audrey. I'm not sure. Key. Okay. Nothing hidden here. So I think it's gonna have to be with the down there rooms. Okay, so jumping trap right here. So I'm gonna go down. What do we have? Big room. Big room that looks particularly dangerous. Okay. What's the other? Scroll. Okay. Yeah, a little lore room. I like that. Rumors. Nothing particularly interesting in there. Ow. I should not. Ow. Why am I getting stuck in walls? Alright. Oh, so it's probably Lady Audrey. Run close, poison them, run away. <laughs> there we go. Back to full. Increase my spell mana pool. Yes! Jumping above the plant's projectiles is actually quite effective. Microphone. My microphone has decided to not be very cooperative right now. Okay, there we go. So that is one clear. Nothing hidden here. Okay, nope. So down we go. Into the big, big, big scary room. And I see an obelisk all the way from here. But I can't shoot it already. Bigger enemies? So it, it isn't an obelisk run? Okay. Ah, carrots. I am using all of the poison aura right now. Could probably just set fire to that whole area around here just to see if anything tries to chase me. Hi! Get poison! And XP down here. More XP down here. Get poison. We 
go. What's that statue? That is what I thought was an obelisk. That kind of confused me. Wait a second. I'd better check for secret rooms. Is that one? No. No, that's not one. That is not one either. Can't jump over these fences, which is annoying, by the way. But I can I kind of get why. I kind of get why they do this. It's just... I don't like it, because I know I can jump them. Especially with jewels and a bit of a running start. Alright. Long room. Bunch of rock monolith and storm beasts. Get stuck in rocks and then get shot. Yeah, that, that sounds about right for what I usually do. Ow. Okay, I have to stop doing this. Eating one of these things to the face. Also not the best of ideas. Run. Okay. Or just flame that area, let it come to me. Please die. Thank you. Can't even jump the tiniest of ledges. That got me back to full health. Sounds about right. Okay. Uh, that is it for 4 2. Time for the boss fight. Yep. Time for the boss fight, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Lady Audrey. So I'm actually gonna use the fire to take out the tentacles as much as I can. And make absolutely sure that I keep Lady Audrey poisoned at all times. Pretty much have to run into her in order to poison her. That could be a bit tricky. Oh shit, spitters. Okay, poison everything. Poison everything. And then set it on fire. That is a dead Lady Audrey. Floor 3. It was, uh, I had 112,000 points at the end of Floor 1, so kind of a low score. Not very happy with that. 323 is also kind of low. But then again, clearing that in 10 minutes um, is definitely a fast run. Cursed Cathedral. Whirlwind. Hell no. Oh, hell no. The Whirlwind has been my undoing every single time I've taken it. Okay, big room with lots of water. Usually a, a room that tends to drop my frame rate a little bit. And smaller room with a middle bridge. Guess I could go for this one. Just gonna take advantage. Oh shit, carrots. And there are demons in here. 
Poison the demon. There we go. Oh crap, that was close. Alright, grab all the things. There we go, level 5. Get a random perk. That could be both good or bad. I'm gonna go for Wrecking Ball. The Wrecking Ball... is gonna be a nice little bit of survivability in this nutcase of a place. Tidy room. I have no mana whatsoever. I might have to set it up on... Oh, shit. Demons! Big demons! Oh, crap. Set them on fire. Run, run, run. And I'm dead. A demon with a blue buff and homing missiles in the freaking tiniest room in the world with no cover. Yeah, that one kind of fucked me over. Um, I'm not happy at all about this run. Really not. I should. I could have done so much more. I could have done so much more, but the freaking demon, yet again, just like yesterday, completely destroyed me. Oh man! And usually Jules is one of my stronger characters, so it really pisses me off. Unlike Ozuna yesterday, I'm, I I really can't Ozuna to save my own life. I'm really bad with Ozuna, but usually I'm pretty good with Jules. And this one, ah, oh, man, I, I saw the potential in this run, just from the poison aura, and the speed, and the, the, the wraith rings. And now I'm really pissed. Fuck. Anyways, um, let's see. It says one out of one. Yeah, I'm the only one who made it so far. Um, I expect this score to get annihilated because um, there was some seriously good perk chemistry there that just got thrown away because I didn't manage my mana properly for my spell I'm a little bit pissed at myself right now anyways that is it for today's daily challenge featuring Jules the Harlequin um Make sure to leave your feedback in the comments below. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter, on the handle that is right under my camera. And uh, as for me, I'm Crimson Raven, and I'll see you soon.